Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Straight Edit Content. We are here in Flash Custom Studios, or actually our Mac Studio right here. So today, as you guys seen in the last video, if you haven't, go check that out. But today's video, we are going to actually finally install this Mac Studio. So this is the computer that Chelly has been editing all, uh, not editing, but well, actually, yes, editing the videos for Flash Custom Transfers on this one right here, as well as creating all your designs, laying everything out. She has been doing all her work with this desktop computer. This is an Optiplex 9010. We actually have two of these in the house. Uh, yes, we have two of these in the house. One is upstairs in our bedroom with a GTX 1050 Ti. I actually have a video when I put in that graphics card. Also has an SSD hard drive in that one upstairs and I want to say something, oh, uh, 24 gigs of RAM or something like that. The reason why we don't use that computer upstairs is because whenever you plug in the monitors, for some reason, the graphic card, something happens and it's broke and it causes the screen to go black. So you'll be working, working, working the screen to go black. So we actually been using this computer right here since the store, since we had the store, and it actually runs AI pretty well. It does a decent job, but she is totally unable to edit any type of video. And in fact, I'm filming on my iPhone 13 Pro right now, and I would and I could film 4K, but there's no way that with Adobe Premiere Pro, we would be able to edit on this. Now, I also have a MacBook Pro, but it's from 2015 and filming and editing 4K video on that computer is almost impossible. So, like I mentioned in the other video, equipment for your business is extremely important. So in today's video, we have to install this Mac Studio. So I have her whole setup. I'm gonna be changing a lot of things. So all I'm gonna do is set up my computer and just kind of run a video of just all the things that I got to do. And then once I'm installing it, I'll kind of do like a fast forward video. So let's go ahead and get into the video. But first, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button if you're interested in any content about computers and equipment. Um, this is kind of, I'm a nerd. So it's really things that I love to do. I'm also going to show you guys um, how to take the hard drive out of this and you can buy an enclosure and then I can plug it into this right here so that this Mac Studio can read the hard drive off of this and this way she doesn't have any issues with her files. I have to actually order that. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so this right here, this is Chelly's setup. This is her sanctuary. This is where we have tried to do our best job to make it as pretty as possible. Now, some things that you guys don't know is we're having a lot of issues going on with this house. It's a very old house, so we rent this house. So we will be moving soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed, God bless, we will be moving soon. Unfortunately, there's just too many old pipes and stuff like that, and it's time to move. So we're doing our best to make her work area as pleasing as possible. And one thing that you can see right here is the clutter. Look at all this clutter. We, we no longer use this printer because the Epson 2720, which we converted into sublimation, uh, into a sublimation printer, we actually converted back into a regular printer. And I will show you how we did that right now. So we actually did that with this ink right here. So this is regular ink that we purchased off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. So what's kind of cool about this ink is, and you'll see that I already used one, this is regular printer ink, nothing schmancy about it. But what's cool is, twist this top off, and when you twist the top off, boom. It's already ready to go in. As you can see that nozzle right there, all you have to do is so cool. You just come down here, pop this off, pop whichever one you're gonna do, turn it upside down and push it on there and fill it up with printable, with uh, regular ink, non-sublimation ink, and then just print. Now, your prints are gonna be faded at first right your prints are gonna be faded at first because sublimation ink comes out like really faded and that's actually what we print all of the instructions so all of these instructions it looks pretty good on camera but in person this black is really kind of faded but it's actually getting darker because of the regular ink that's in there so we print probably 30 to 50 of these a day Okay, sorry, I had to change I had to change uh, tripod. So yeah, so what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna 
there's no sense in we actually have a video on how to suck this out right how to you know vacuum all that stuff out of this printer out don't do that do not do that you're going to jack up your printer you're going to have to do you're going to have to do the cleaning head uh, thing 10 times do not do that don't do that all i would suggest is print something a highly colored like a lot to get out all the ink or do like we did we just print this the way it is with the sublimation ink as the ink in the tank gets low then you fill it up with the regular ink that's it you're not going to mess it up you're not going to do anything so these colors will eventually get darker these blacks will eventually get darker because right now it's about 50 percent sublimation ink 50 percent uh regular printer ink so soon it will be a hundred percent regular printer ink and it'll print just fine and this stuff is cheap that's the reason why i'm moving this printer because we're spending 30 bucks a cartridge every week when we use this at the shop so this is gone we're going to stay with this printer but i'm going to put this printer here the cricket machine down there and the mac studio right there so that's ink that's the kind of the uh, ink hack that we have and i'll do a separate video dedicated to that just wanted to show that to you guys since you guys are here watching me so what i'm going to do right now is show you guys the inside of this computer and the hard drive that i'm going to take out of this and put um in its own enclosure and then i will be able to this computer will be able to read this this computer's hard drive and then this will just be a shell i do have other hard drives laying around but i don't need those i just need this one okay so this right here is the old computer we need to get the hard drive out of it what i'm gonna do with this hard drive and let me go ahead and open it up take this out so i'm going to take this hard drive and put it in an enclosure with something like this so this right here is a 2.5 millimeter i think it is 2.5 millimeter and then this right here is a 3.5 millimeter so this is called a hard drive enclosure i can take this cord this cord comes with it you can actually i'll put a link in the description down below but the one that i'm going to get i'll show you in just a second i'm able to put this size hard drive this size hard drive or sata hard drive in the um or not an uh, sata hard drive these are these are sata hard drives or an ssd hard drive which is a lot faster um but it comes with this cord right here and then you just like if i wanted to i could just take this with this cord and whatever information is on this and plug it into the mac or into the pc and it's going to read it as like like a usb drive no different so i got to take this out and i'm going to purchase this let me show you guys on my computer my station over here this right here so this uh usb uh, 3.1 gen 2 type c so the reason why i went with a uh uh, usb type c because that's a lot faster so you have usb 2.0 3.0 and type c so as you see it's a 3.5 sata hd hdd or ssd ssd is a lot faster but we're just going to be uh just kind of pulling a few files and use that hard drive the big one that you guys just saw we're going to use that as like a uh, extra storage i forgot what the storage for the mac studio comes with but i have a uh, i have this right here this is five terabytes so basically what is in that computer over there that metal that aluminum hard drive that you guys just saw is actually in here this is just a regular hdd hard drive with an enclosure and a usb cord and i can plug this in and actually everything is backed up to this everything in the house is backed up to this right here and there's about five terabytes on this i'll put a link in the description to this as well but this is all about equipment these are all the things that you need for your business so as you see already in the cart i've already got this right here i've already got that so that's the dongle that's going to go plug into the mac studio that's going to allow the new keyboard because unfortunately uh like a uh uh apple keyboard and mouse is like 200 bucks that's insane we already have Chelly has this keyboard right here that she really loves and this mouse right here that she really loves. So we're just gonna, unfortunately, they're gonna take up two USB slots and there's only two USB slots on this as we can look, let's see. Yeah, see, so there's only two USB slots. So I do have, you guys see I have so much stuff. 
<laughs> so it's so funny but yes so i do have this like dongle usb hub so you can actually turn them on and off so you push it in this actually turns blue all these turn blue but i have all these so technically this will plug into this for now before i order because i gotta wait a day for the one off of amazon this will plug into here and then she can plug in up to four usb and then still have one available on the back i have the dongle the U. I i have the hdmi splitter right here i'll put a link in the description for that this is going to turn this uh into so one will plug in but two will come out those two will plug i will be able to plug these two new hdmi cords into here and then plug them into these two displays so that she can go right back to having two displays and not lose any function then i will purchase what you guys just saw on amazon enclose this all the projects are going to be on here that we have so that we don't lose them and then they will plug into here through one of these thunderbolts uh thunderbolts or one of these in the front probably i think these are usb because they don't have the thunderbolt sign so i can plug it into there and boom she's all ready she's all set to go so let me go ahead and start taking some things apart let me start putting some things together because this is going to be a very long process and I'm going to actually just set up the camera and just knock everything out. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right guys, so as you can see, this looks a lot better now, a lot neater. I can probably center this. Maybe I will center it and put it right there. And then I forgot what's going down there. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna go right there. You guys leave a comment in, in uh, you guys leave a comment down below and tell me what should go right here. But what I like is now I'm able to see my uh, levels with this thing being way down there, it's kind of crazy. We don't use our Cricut machine anymore. With the ability to print the transfers we just don't need it we just print the transfer like it's just that easy so that right there is where the mac studio is going to go right now the cords that are in here they have a oh my lord they're so short i forgot what these are called but it's the it's not an hdmi cord i forgot what this kind of cord is called but these are actually going to come out and we're going to use these HDMI cords and then I'm going to go ahead right now and order the enclosing for this so that I can plug that in and get everything else so it's time to actually unbox this but I don't want to unbox this until everything else over there is unplugged and ready to go so let me go ahead and do that and then we will get right back to the unboxing all right guys it's the moment of truth it's really late it's about 12 22 a.m i've got everything plugged up as you can see right here i've got the usb dongle with the two uh usb uh dongle things that plug in for the mouse and for the keyboard no i yeah i plugged in everything yeah i did i thought i was going to leave something out but i didn't so i did the uh both hdmi monitors are plugged in they actually recognized and i did plug in that little micro usb into the back of the uh, studio so all i have to do is push on now unfortunately okay yeah so both of these buttons are pushed down so it should recognize the keyboard immediately and then we're gonna have to go through startup so let's see what happens oh my lord you gotta plug it in first <laughs> Okay, now that it's actually plugged in, let's try this again. Ah, 
Oh, you heard it. Will the monitors activate? Will it be able to read and pop up on both monitors? I don't know. I know for a fact that if I just plug one HDMI directly into the studio, it will definitely, oh, both monitors turn white. But I know if I, I can do that, if I absolutely have to, oh, it's working. So there you guys can see. So that's how you set up your, let me go ahead and, This is a really dope background. I don't even know how to set this up, but I'm gonna take this video out. So guys, thank you for tuning in to this video with Straight Edit Content. As you guys see, I keep things basic. That stands for business, automotive, sports, investing, and creating. And today's video is really just about an extension of the last video when I spoke about equipment. We were able to successfully set this up. Looks like that it's running on both monitors. Everything seems to be running. I'm gonna to have to learn how to set this up. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. All I can say is that thank you. For everybody out there who has purchased the transfer, we truly appreciate it. We are able to continue to upgrade our lifestyle and our ability to make more transfers at a lower rate. So um, I actually put on my Instagram a silly picture, but the new 2000 plus square foot warehouse is up. You guys can go check that out on Instagram, straight out of content. I cropped myself and Shelly in but everything is up uh, tonight. It's officially Monday morning at midnight, a little past midnight. So we will be going out there to film the whole new setup. If you, if you don't know anything about what we do, we manufacture heat transfers. A lot of people say we're not the biggest in the country, but we know that right now with the amount of printers that we have, and I think the one else that's coming, the one forehead that's coming, we are either tied with the biggest person company out there who manufactures printers, I mean, who manufactures transfers, or we are the biggest. So that's a very huge milestone. You know that I um, definitely want to finish the year 2023. I want to go into 2023 as officially the biggest manufacturer of DTF, tra of DTF transfers. That stands for direct to film. So we are just grinding, grinding, grinding behind the scenes. We got a lot of things that we have to do. We will be moving soon. We have to talk to our realtor tomorrow. So, to use English as the main language, oh. wow, and it recognizes the keyboard. Key. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this, guys. And uh, thank you for everything that you guys have done. I appreciate everybody out there. Order now at flashcustomtransfers.com. If you need to email us, that's our email. If you want to place your order through there, again, we can give you shipping options and stuff like that. But if you just want to just quick order, just jump online send your PNG and just go ahead and purchase it. That's flashcustomtransfers.com. Thank you guys for everything. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Please stay blessed. Please stay safe out there and please stay healthy. Um, and in fact, shout out to you, dad. If you're watching this, I love you. My father was in the hospital battling COVID. He's 69 years old and he's also on dialysis. So it was very scary there for a while. That's why you didn't see any filming for a while. We have a, I know you guys see us laugh and stuff like that, but please take your family serious and please love your family because our parents you know if, if for the people out there who've already lost their parents they understand i have yet to lose anybody major in our family except for our grandmother and that was years ago so outside of that my parents are getting old and i have to accept that and it was a really hard week i actually broke down um and Shelly had to call because nobody was able to hear from my father because he was in a hospital battling covid you guys know that i almost passed away from covid last september so that's why I take COVID very serious and I don't want my father to pass away. So just sharing a little insight with you guys and just sharing love through this camera, through this lens, hopefully reaches somebody out there. Just love you, just love everybody, man. I know I make a lot of crazy videos, but it's all love over here. Straight to the content flash, custom transfers. Thank you guys for everything. Be basic, peace.